Hi, so in the previous session I had showed you about the charcoal powder and today I'm going to uh, show you how to use it Okay, its application. So today I'm going to use this uh, charcoal powder from Presto. I had uh, said about this also in the previous video. So today uh, I'm going to show you how uh, I'll be using this uh, in my uh, portrait sketch. Okay, here you go. So first thing mainly, um, I have kept my fan off. Everything is off here. Uh, no air, no air circulation. Just my window is a bit open. Just a bit open. I don't want the air to come and spread for my entire table. I don't want uh, my entire table to be messy. And uh, yeah, uh, this is how I'm setting up my phone. I actually take the video of this. I'll be sharing this now. Here, what I have done is first, I put a butter paper here. So this is a paper that I put over, over my white table. And uh, next thing I place this and then I've used my tape here. So this is the tape, the masking tape, which I had you know, posted the video about this in the uh, last week. So this ends, all the ends, I put tape and little bit covered because I don't want it to cover till here because I'm going to frame it later. Okay. And here, even here, I've added tape. So just here, it's like this. So I have to be very careful now uh, before I use the powder, chocolate powder. So here, I'm going to carefully open this. I'm not going to open it over here. Okay. This is fine charcoal. I wouldn't say it is like 100% fine charcoal powder. Okay, there is a little bit of greeny thing which actually brings a lot of lines in the drawing okay so usually I uh, uh, use my other charcoal photos so this is from Barasto now okay and uh, now I'm going to uh, show you a tool that I use it, it's a tool that uh, most the um, girls use <laughs> the most it, it is nothing but a uh, makeup sponge makeup sponge yes so it has already turned black, you can see that, because I've used the charcoal powder over here. Now, first, I have to be very sure that no air is coming, okay, and uh, it's next. I'm going to, so you can, you can take it directly like this and uh, make everything, you know, messy, or you can, you can take a little bit, you know, I, I do it like this, just a little bit over here and then I want this entire background to be really dark so that's why I'm going to do this method I'm going to keep this aside or else this is going to be dirty keep everything aside just the powder and this so here as you can see this so I'm just going to do it like this and see how dark this is it's, it's really really dark and this using this it gives a smooth finish so that's why i'm giving using this so as you can see there are lines you know forming here because it's not like fine really fine but okay and uh, i want it to be light here near the face so what i'll do is see since i've added over here next i'm going to bring it over here near the face so like this I want that glowing effect I'm not going to add powder over here and I have to be very careful while um, blending it over here making it smooth so I shouldn't be pressing it too much it will be dark so as you can see here it is dark here it is light so I'm going to do this portion more I'm going to use this portion more make the surface light even here so beautiful isn't it this portion has come so beautiful a little lines you know can still be seen I need to do something about that.
So this paper that I'm using is a Bristol paper. It's good. I'm using this for a quite long time now. You have to do it like really light to dark in this paper. Okay, uh, that's it about charcoal powder. Hope you like the video. Bye-bye.